The Book of Ruth, Hebrew, Megai Ruth, Megillith Ruth, the Scroll of Ruth, one of the five Megillot, is included in the third division or the writings Ketuvim, of the Hebrew Bible. In most Christian canons, it is treated as a history book and placed between Judges and 1 Samuel, as it is set in the days when the judges judged. Although the Syriac Christian tradition places it later, between Ecclesiastes and the Song of Songs. It is named after its central figure, Ruth the Moabitess, the great-grandmother of David. The book tells of Ruth's accepting the God of the Israelites as her God and the Israelite people as her own. In Ruth chapter 1 verses 16-17, Ruth tells Naomi, her Israelite mother-in-law, Where you go I will go, and where you stay I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God my God. Where you die I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. The book is held in esteem by Jews who fall under the category of Jews by choice, as is evidenced by the considerable presence of Boaz in rabbinic literature. The Book of Ruth also functions liturgically, as it is read during the Jewish holiday of Shavuot. Weeks. Topic. Structure Topic. The book is structured in four chapters, Act 1, Prologue and Problem, Death and Emptiness 1 1 Scene 1, Setting the Scene 1 1 Scene 2, Naomi Returns Home 1 -6 Scene 3, Arrival of Naomi and Ruth in Bethlehem 1-19-22 Act 2, Ruth meets Boaz, Naomi's relative, on the harvest field 2-1-23 Scene 1, Ruth in the field of Boaz 2 Scene 2, Ruth reports to Naomi 2 Act 3, Naomi sends Ruth to Boaz on the threshing floor 3 1 Scene 1, Naomi reveals her plan 3 1 Scene 2, Ruth at the threshing floor of Boaz 3 6 15 Scene 3, Ruth reports to Naomi 316 Act 4, Resolution and Epilogue, Life and Fullness 4 1 Scene 1, Boaz with the men at the gate 4 1 Scene 2, A son is born to Ruth 413 Genealogical Appendix 418 Topic. Summary Topic. During the time of the judges when there was a famine, an Israelite family from Bethlehem, Elimelech, his wife Naomi, and their sons Malan and Chilion, emigrated to the nearby country of Moab. Elimelech died, and the sons married two Moabite women, Malan married Ruth and Chilion married Orpah. After about ten years, the two sons of Naomi also died in Moab 1 -4. Naomi decided to return to Bethlehem. She told her daughters-in-law to return to their own mothers and remarry. Orpah reluctantly left, however, Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee, for whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge, thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God, where thou diest, will I die, and there will I be buried, the Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. Ruth chapter 1 verses 16 to 17 KJV The two women returned to Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest, and in order to support her mother-in-law and herself, Ruth went to the fields to glean. As it happened, the field she went to belonged to a man named Boaz, who was kind to her because he had heard of her loyalty to her mother-in-law. Ruth told Naomi of Boaz's kindness, and she gleaned in his field through the remainder of barley and wheat harvest. Boaz was a close relative of Naomi's husband's family. He was therefore obliged by the Leveret law to marry Malan's widow, Ruth, in order to carry on his family's inheritance. Naomi sent Ruth to the threshing floor at night and told her to go where he slept, and uncover his feet, and lay thee down, and he will tell thee what thou shalt do. 3 to 4. Ruth did so. Boaz asked her who she was, and she replied, I am Ruth thine handmaid, spread therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. 3-9 Boaz blessed her and agreed to do all that is required, and he noted that, All the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. 
311 he then acknowledged that he was a close relative, but that there was one who was closer, and she remained in submission at his feet until she returned into the city in the morning. Early that day, Boaz went to the city gate to meet with the other male relative before the town elders. The relative is not named, Boaz addresses him as Ploni Almoni, literally, so and so. The unnamed relative is unwilling to jeopardize the inheritance of his own estate by marrying Ruth, and so relinquished his right of redemption, thus allowing Boaz to marry Ruth. They transferred the property and redeemed it, ratified by the nearer kinsman taking off his shoe and handing it over to Boaz. Ruth chapter 4 verse 7 notes for later generations that This was the custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and exchanging, to confirm anything, one man took off his sandal and gave it to the other, and this was a confirmation in Israel, Boaz and Ruth were then married and have a son. The women of the city celebrate Naomi's joy, for Naomi found a redeemer for her family name, and Naomi takes the child and places it in her bosom. The child is named Obed, who we discover as the father of Jesse, the father of David. Ruth chapter 4 verses 13 to 17, that is, the grandfather of King David. The book concludes with an appendix which traces the Davidic genealogy all the way back from Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah, through to Obed, down to David. Topic. Composition Topic. The book does not name its author. It is traditionally ascribed to the prophet Samuel, but Ruth's identity as a non-Israelite and the stress on the need for an inclusive attitude towards foreigners suggests an origin in the 5th century BC, when intermarriage had become controversial as seen in Ezra chapter 9 verse 1 and Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 1. A substantial number of scholars therefore date it to the Persian period 6th-4th centuries BC. The genealogy that concludes the book is believed to be a post-exilic priestly edition, as it adds nothing to the plot, nevertheless, it is carefully crafted and integrates the book into the history of Israel running from Genesis to Kings. Themes and background Leveret marriage and the Redeemers Topic. The Book of Ruth illustrates the difficulty of trying to use laws given in books such as Deuteronomy as evidence of actual practice. Naomi plans to provide security for herself and Ruth by arranging a leveret marriage with Boaz. Her plan is overtly sexual. Ruth is to go to the threshing floor, a place associated with sexual activity. Wait until Boaz has finished eating and drinking, a possible allusion to the story of Lot and his daughters, ancestors through incest of the Moabites, and Deliat is uncovered. Feet, a euphemism for genitals, since there was no heir to inherit Elimelech's land. Custom required a close relative, usually the dead man's brother, to marry the widow of the deceased in order to continue his family line. Deuteronomy chapter 25 verses 5 to 10. This relative was called the Go El, the kinsman redeemer, as Boaz is not Elimelech's brother, nor is Ruth his widow. Scholars refer to the arrangement here as Leveret-like. A complication arises in the story, another man is a closer relative to Elimelech than Boaz and has first claim on Ruth. It is resolved through the custom that required land to stay in the family, a family could mortgage land to ward off poverty, but the law required a kinsman to purchase it back into the family Leviticus chapter 25 verse 25 ff. Boaz meets the near kinsman at the city gate the place where contracts are settled, the kinsman first says he will purchase Elimelech. S. Now Naomi land, but, upon hearing he must also take Ruth as his wife, withdraws his offer. Boaz thus becomes Ruth and Naomi's kinsman redeemer. Mixed marriage the book can be read as a political parable relating to issues around the time of Ezra and Nehemiah the 4th century BCE. The fictional nature of the story is established from the start through the names of the participants, the husband and father is Elimelech, meaning, my God is king, and his wife is Naomi, pleasing, but after the deaths of her sons Malan, sickness, and Chilion, wasting, she asks to be called Mara, bitter. 
The reference to Moab raises questions, since in the rest of the biblical literature it is associated with hostility to Israel, sexual perversity, and idolatry, and Deuteronomy chapter 23 verses 3-6 excluded an Ammonite or a Moabite from the congregation of the Lord, even to their tenth generation. Despite this, Ruth the Moabitess married a Judahite and even after his death still regarded herself a member of his family, she then married another Judahite and bore him a son who became an ancestor of David. Contrary to the message of Ezra Nehemiah, where marriages between Jewish men and non-Jewish women were broken up, Ruth teaches that foreigners who convert to Judaism can become good Jews, foreign wives can become exemplary followers of Jewish law, and there is no reason to exclude them or their offspring from the community. Topic. Contemporary interpretations Topic. Scholars have increasingly explored Ruth in ways which allow it to address contemporary issues. Feminists, for example, have recast the story as one of the dignity of labor and female self-sufficiency, and even as a model for lesbian relations, while others have seen in it a celebration of the relationship between strong and resourceful women. Others have criticized it for its underlying, and potentially exploitative, acceptance of a system of patriarchy in which a woman's worth can only be measured through marriage and child-bearing. Others again have seen it as a book that champions outcast and oppressed peoples. <laughs> Genealogy, the descent of David from Ruth See also Topic Goal Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Topic Bibliography Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Jewish translations and study guide or that Meccan Mamra, Jewish Publication Society of America version, 1917. Jewish Virtual Library. Jewish Encyclopedia. Ruth English translation with Rashi commentary, Christian translations and study Guides the Kinsman Redeemer. Online Bible Gospel Hall. Org. Bible Gateway. Bible study on cross cultural love. InterVarsity website. Redeemed. Book of Ruth public domain audiobook at LibriVox various versions. Encyclopedic and Trees Catholic Encyclopedia.